Hello, BookTube. This is Johnny. This is uh, July the 4th, 2017. There's a Tuesday. It's 7.50 here in West Michigan. So I thought I'd make a video because I mentioned that I, well, that every 4th of July there is a big, huge used book sale in Grand Rapids. Uh, at Cascade Library. The, the book sale is outside because the weather, well, the weather is, it's summertime and usually the weather is sunny and they have all these tables full of, you know, books from all different categories. As I said, the first table I go to is biography and then I go to nonfiction and then I go to classics and then I go to f fiction and then I look at travel and uh, then I do the whole go around and around and around again and uh, what I do is that when I go to, I was going to show you that when I go to a book sale use book sale I take this thing it has a little thing it has little wheels and I, I carry it I pull it behind me and when I fill the thing up to the top, then I leave. And then I say, that's enough. Usually, I can put 30 books in there, maybe more. That's what I do. So, these are really handy because when you're going from table to table, I just throw stuff in there. Well, I stack them in there. So, yeah, I went to the used book sale and this is what I got at the 4th of July used book sale. First, I want to show you the books I got in the mail. I think I, I showed this book uh, Sunday morning. My wife and I, we went downtown to Rita's World and I found, uh, this is 50% off, Vorger Travel Writings by Russell Banks. Uh, Russell Banks is one of my favorite writers. I've read many of his novels. Uh, but I was, I've been reading this today, well yesterday, today I really haven't read anything because this morning I got up and I went to the book sale. I, my friend Tim came with me, I picked him up at 7.30. We got in line about 10 after 8. The, the, the uh, book sale opened, the, they opened up for people to enter at 8.30. We left about Oh, 10 o'clock got in so when I got home I was really I cataloged the books and library thing wrote my diary and then I took a nap so I really really haven't read anything today but I was reading this yesterday and then I got in the mail yesterday a Pep's Pep's anthology passages from the diary of Samuel Pep's selected and edited by Robert and Lemmip I just wanted a little a little thing like this. It looked kind of interesting to go along with my other Samuel Pep stuff. And then I, I've been reading The Life of Angela Carter. Uh, I ordered used some writings by her. Angela Carter, Shaking LA Collected Writings. I got this in the mail used yesterday. So what did I get at the uh, used book sale? Well, first of all, I did find a biography of James Dean, The Mutant King, a biography by David Dalton to go along with this box set that I got at the library use the library bookstore Saturday. So I can put these together, read about James Dean's life. So I got that. I didn't get this. I got this at the book nook. I got this at the July used book sale. So I got that. Well, first of all, in my diary today, I ended on page 602 of my July 2017 diary. And tomorrow is July the 5th, 2017. I've been writing a lot about, about Rudy passing away, our little dog. We had to put him the down, and it's, we all been, were kind of sad. And I find myself crying a lot, but... He'll be sorely missed, but what can you do? Life goes on. Dogs die, cats die, fish die, people die. 
planets die, cosmoses die. Nothing lives forever except our eternal souls in the eternal state, heaven and hell. So, uh, yeah, I got uh, at the used book sale today. I got a biography of, of Robertson Davies. Those who watch my video know that I collect his his writings. Uh, this is Robert, Robertson Davies, myth, Man of Myth, biography by Judith Skelton Grant. Uh, I have I've been reading these down the lower level by my laptop computer, The Merry Heart: Reflections on Reading, Writing, and the World of Books by Robinson Davies. These are by my laptop downstairs, and this I've been reading, A Celtic Temperament, Robinson Davies as a Diarist, edited by Jennifer Surridge and Ramsey Deary. I bought these a while back, but I keep them by my laptop. So I got now a biography of his life, long ago with my, uh, his writings. I picked up a biography of Queen Victoria by Stanley Winrup. I collect biographies by him. I have his biography on Bernard Shaw, his biography on Whistler, his biography on Aubrey Beardsley, Imp of the Perverse. And I have his book on the First World War, Stillness Heard Around the World. So there's a picture of Victoria when she's young, and that's when she's old. It's amazing how many biographies there are on Queen Victoria. But she, was a, she lived in a very important time in world history. I picked up uh, the autobiography of H.L. Macon. Uh, my life as author and editor. I, I collect his writings. He's, uh, this is his uh, autobiography. I picked up uh, Tom and Jack, The Interwined Lives of Thomas Hart Benton and Jackson Pollock by Henry Adams. Uh, I collect books on Jackson Pollock, The Abstract Painter, and this is Thomas Hart and Benton was a very famous painter. Uh, he was uh, Jacks. Uh, Thomas Hart Benton was like an early heavy influence on Jack on Jackson Pollock. He was his kind of like taught him that about painting. There's some paintings by. Uh, if you want to know what Thomas Hart and Benton's looks like, there's his paintings and then you have of course uh, Jackson Pollock but, so I got that then I got a book on called Colossus Th these are uh, different essays how the corporation changed America edited by Jack Beatty now Beatty is the last name of my my grandfather was a Beatty my mother's maiden name was Beatty. I wonder if we're related. Anyway, these are on essays. Colossus, How Corporations Changed America. These are essays. And I found uh, Bos you know, Boswell. Uh, Boswell was the, uh, who wrote the very famous biography of Samuel Samuel Johnson, this is his uh, Boswell and Holland, 1763 to 1764. These are like his diaries or journal entries. I had already in our library Boswell's London Journal, 1762 to 1763. So now I have both of those. I found a novel by uh, Surit Husevelt, The Blindfold. Uh, those who know that she's one of my favorite writers. Last year I read uh, a book of essays by her in a novel, which I thoroughly enjoyed. So I got that. Uh, I picked up this novel by a Polish writer that I cannot pronounce. Ted, I can't pronounce it, but that's who it is. The, the Polish Complex. So, 
And I picked up a novel by Emma Donahue, Slim Merkick, Merkin. And then I found uh, this biography, Stalin, the Court of the Red Czar by Simon Sidbag Metaphor. I already had his young Stalin, so now I have the complete set of his, his biography on Stalin. Then I found this uh, volume, I think this is a volume in a, a biography on Hemingway by Peter Griffin. This is, I don't know what volume this one is, but less than a, than a treason, Hemingway in Paris. And then I picked up uh, William O. Douglas, who's a very famous uh, Supreme Court judge, but he also was an outdoorsman. He was a world traveler, and he wrote books on his travels. Uh, and this is the one he wrote, Beyond the High Himalayas. I have uh, his autobiography. He was a very interesting man, uh, kind of a Renaissance person. Beyond the High Himalayas. And then I found this uh, biography on... Dwight MacDonald, who was a very famous uh, editor of the, the Parisian Review. He was an editor on the New, New York Review books. He was a, a, a political activist. He was friends with Mary McCarthy. He lived in New York. He was a, a, a public intellectual. He wrote a lot. This is his biography. I was very pleased to find this. I believe I, I wanted to know, know more about the, the Dwight McDonald. This is A Rebel in Defense of Tradition, The Life and Politics of Dwight McDonald by Michael Wisson. I was really pleased to find this. Then I found another biography. Uh, you know, I collect the biographies of Catherine Drinker Bowen. I just showed you I had Francis Bacon I found at the Friends of the Library used book sale. I found her biography on John Adams in the American Revolution. It's a good book, like I said, for the 4th of July. So I, was, I collect her biographies and her writings. And then I found this book, uh, The Struggles and Triumphs, or 40 Years of Recollections of P.T. Barham the great circus guy. This is an abridged edition. Uh, this is uh, edited and abridged with introduction by Carl Boyd. Boyd. So I found that. I found a novel by John Lanchester, The Dead of Pleasure. Uh, last year I read two novels by him. He's a British writer. I really enjoy his writings. Then I found a biography on Robert Louis Stevenson, Dreams of Exile by Ian Bell. Uh, so, you know, he wrote, he wrote Robinson Crusoe and Treasure Island and things like that. Then I found a novel by Paul Asher, Moon Palace. I didn't have this one. Of all the novels I... I, w I didn't know if I had this because I have almost all of his writings, but I didn't have this one. And what a cool cover. It's kind of kind of cool, isn't it? It's one of those uh, Penguin classics. Kind of cool cover, isn't it? Then I found a novel by v Vikram Seath. I collect him. He is from India, but he writes, He's I think he was British. This is his novel, The Golden Gate. And then I found Between Friends, a correspondence between Hannah Arnett and Mary McCarthy, 1949 to 1975, edited and with an introduction by Carl, Carol Brightman. Carl Brightman wrote a biography on Mary McCarthy, which I have down in the lower level. This is, she was edited this. This goes with my Mary McCarthy collection. So, I was kind of pleased to add that to my Mary McCarthy collection. I keep this box set on my desk 
because she is uh, one of my favorite writers. And then I found the le Select Letters of Ezra Pound, Selected Letters, 1907-1941 of Ezra Pound. And then I found these uh, essays and, and a diary. It's called Sitting the Tone, Setting the Tone, Essays in a Diary by Ned Rorim. I collect him. He's he wrote a diary. He lived in Paris. He, uh, he wrote. He lived in New York. I have the Paris Diary of Ted Ned Rorim, uh, the New York Diary, the Final Diary. I collect his writings. He writes about music, travel, uh, gay life. And then I found this book on the famous uh, sculptor and painter, ceramic, Spanish painter, uh, Juan Moro, Juan Mino, Mino. So that's what I found at the July used book sale. A good little haul, little interesting bunch of books to add to our library. So the next used book sale is next month, August, down in South Haven. That's a big one too. Um, but uh, one thing I, I, I watched some videos today about uh, one was called the do's and don'ts of making a video. I do all the. Uh, my philosophy about making videos is just be real, just be yourself. Uh, and all your frailty, all your weakness, all your complexities. Uh, a long time ago, I came to a place where I just tell people, I'm broken. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not perfect. I know that one day when I die and I'm resurrected that I'll be glorified and I'll bear the perfect image of Christ. But right now, you know, I can't talk, I can't pronunciate words, uh, I can't make you know, wonderful book reviews. I'm here because I just want to share my love for books and my love for language and for art and for music and for literature. and animals and birds and oceans and stars and also the great drama of salvation, the glories of the cross, the beauty of Christ, the wonder of God's word, uh, the the love of family, uh, being what a wonderful thing it is to be a husband and a father and a grandfather, to have grandchildren, and also to feel the sorrow of loss, to lose your little friend Rudy and the, the death of our dog. and. He was just not a dog, he was a friend. But we all have a, our time on this earth. And someday my time on this earth will end, and then I will go to be with the Lord. Rudy will go into the, I don't know, he'll go into the arms of Jesus. So anyway, I this is a Tuesday. Hoping you're having a good week. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for bearing with my brokenness and my frailty. My philosophy is always just be real. Be real and to seek to always seek to live in the presence of God and to be a light, to be salt, to be kind, and to be righteously angry when you see an injustice in things that are dishonoring to the glory of God. So anyway, I hope you will have a good week. I'm not sure if I'll make another video. I don't know. We'll see. Well, until next time, bye.